Over the last couple of weeks, I've been hearing a weird noise coming from the engine of my 2013 Subaru Crosstrek. I've also had some of you viewers message me on Instagram and here on YouTube with similar concerns. After looking on the Subaru forums, I found out many people are having this issue. Today's video, we're gonna talk about what this issue is and possible causes for this issue. So guys, unfortunately, I don't have an audio or video clip of the phenomena captured that I can share with you. This is a very sporadic occurrence. It is a very quiet noise unless your ears are dialed right into it. Now, I don't know if this is something brand new as I've just noticed it, or maybe it's been going on for a while and I just did not hear it before because with the radio going and the HVAC system on, it's very hard to pick it up. But now that I've heard it, my ears are kind of dialed in and I have heard it uh, several times since. Now, this issue, it sounds like a low rattling noise. At first, when I first heard it, I thought it was something on the radio. Cut the radio off, cut the blower motor off, and continue to drive and heard it again. I let off the gas pedal and it went away, rolled back on the gas pedal, and it came back ever so slightly. I was on an incline at the time. It also was quite hot out. It was still uh, probably 80s, or higher ambient temperature. Now, just the last two days here in South Carolina, temperatures have bottomed out. I think it was like 50 something degrees the other day. I think we hit a high of 64 today. I have not noticed it this week, so I'm not sure if it's temperature variant or not. Now, the issue in question, at first I thought it might be a timing chain rattle, but given the speed I was driving, which was between 55 and 60 mile an hour, the engine RPM and the load and the way the sound came through, I pretty much ruled that out quickly. Another thought that popped in my head was maybe I've got an exhaust heat shield rattling, but also that didn't really make sense given the speed of the vehicle RPM and when it would start and when it would go away. So based on what I heard, I'm pretty sure I experienced a ping in the engine, which is also known as detonation or spark knock. Now, ironically, I had a viewer reach out to me on Instagram asking about the phenomena in their Crosstrek, which I believe their Crosstrek was a 2016 or 2018. When I looked on YouTube trying to find other videos uh, documenting the issue, I did find one person with a 2018 claiming that they had the issue as well, but it's so hard to record it. They had their window down and with the wind noise, you really couldn't pick it up. So I jumped on some of the Subaru forms uh, the general Subaru forums, Outback, Crosstrek, Forester forums, looking at pre-detonation, uh, spark knock, engine ping as the key search. And it seems that this has been a pretty big issue with FB20 owners in the Crosstrek, et cetera. So looking at this, what is pre-detonation? What is spark knock? So guys, in this video, we are not gonna go through and diagnose what is wrong with my Crosstrek. In a future video, we will do that. This video is more of an overview of what pre-ignition detonation and engine ping are, what are some causes of it, and things you should look out for if you're experiencing it in your Subaru. So what's going on here? What's causing this noise in some of these FB Subaru engines? What's causing this pinging, knocking noise? So as I talked about before, this can be uh, pre-ignition or detonation. Now, sometimes these are used interchangeably, but they are a little bit different. Now, what happens normally in your engine, a lot of people will think about the combustion stroke or the power stroke as spark plug ignites the fuel air mixtures or big explosion, the piston's blown to the bottom of the cylinder, and that explosive chemical reaction is turned into mechanical energy. It's not exactly how it goes. It's not quite an explosion. What happens is the spark plug ignites the mixture and a flame front happens and it slowly burns out and that burning out that flame front pushes outwards, pushes the piston down in the cylinder bore. It's not quite a contained explosion. Now, what happens with detonation is detonation is when this fuel air mixture 
uh, detonates a second time after the spark event from the spark plug. Now, pre-ignition, on the other hand, is, well, basically you can get it from the name. It's when this uh, fuel air mixture ignites preemptively before the spark plug uh, event. So pre-ignition is a misfire, so to say, before the spark plug, uh, that fuel air mixture igniting before the time it's supposed to ignite, and detonation is it uh, detonating or igniting a second flame front uh, after the first one is ignited by the spark plug. Now, knocking or pinging, or spark knock, spark ping, is the actual audible noise you hear when detonation, pre-ignition, etc. events are happening. When they happen too much or too intensely, that's when you start getting that spark knocky, uh, pinging noise coming from your engine. So, what is the cause of this? What are the causes of pre-ignition, detonation, engine pinging. So there are several different things that could be the root cause here. Now, one is the quality of your gasoline. If you get cheap, bad gasoline, this can cause pinging and engine knock. Now, that is mainly due to if it is of poor quality and the octane rating is below the threshold that the manufacturer wants for the engine. Now, on these Subaru engines, the recommended octane rating is 87 octane, which is basically regular gasoline across the country. Uh, most pumps have 87, 89, and 91 or 93 octane. At least that's what we have here in South Carolina. I think out west, 91 as high as you can get. We have 93 at the pump here. Uh, there's also 100 octane plus for racing fuels, etc. But what an octane rating is, is the measure of how volatile that fuel is, how likely it is to combust. So the higher the rating, uh, the less likely it is to combust. Uh, so higher octane rated fuels are for higher performance engines with higher compression ratios. Uh, that's why you need that higher octane fuel. Uh, with higher compression ratios, lower octane fuel can detonate or pre-ignite uh, just from the compression. So lower compression engines, uh, smaller engines normally run a lower octane fuel. High performance engines, race engines, high compression engines need a higher octane fuel. So you need to make sure that you have a good quality fuel that has that minimum rating, which I said 87 octane should do it for these Subarus. Now, I am pretty good about always getting my fuel at the same place. I almost always purchase my fuel from Quick Trip. Uh, they are one of the top tier fuel gas stations. Not that that really means anything, uh, but you know you can always get bad gas at any gas station at any given time if water or contaminants get into the truck delivering it or it gets in the tanks below ground. So that's something to consider too. Uh, you might have a pinging issue for a limited time just because you got a bad filler topped up with some bad gasoline and that needs to work its way out of your tank. Another thing to check is your spark plugs. If your spark plugs are in bad condition, they can cause pre-ignition and detonation issues as well. Another issue that can cause pre-ignition, detonation, and pinging is overheating of your combustion chamber. If your cylinder head temperatures are too high, engine temperatures are too high, you can have the same issue. Now, unfortunately, on modern Subarus, we don't have a coolant temperature gauge anymore on Crosstrek and other models. They've taken that away from us. We have a blue temperature light when the engine's cold. We've got a red temperature light when we're overheating. One thing I hate about modern Subarus is the fact we don't have that temperature gauge. So I guess when it comes time to it, I'll have to hook up my scan tool and monitor live data to see if my temperatures are getting high, but not high enough to warrant the red warning light for overheating. So another issue that can cause this is ignition timing. Now on modern Subarus fuel injected cars, this is all controlled by the ECM and is non-adjustable. So if you have an issue, it's going to be with the wiring with the PCM. It's nothing that you can adjust. Now if your PCM ECM is getting bad information from your camshaft sensors, etc., then it might be slow to react on changing your ignition timing. That could be an issue. Also, a knock sensor issue can cause this as well. Now, as we talked about in previous videos on knock sensors and knock sensor replacement, knock sensor diagnostics, the knock sensor is basically a microphone for your vehicle. 
The knock sensor is used by the PCM or ECM to listen to knock to this pinging detonation in the car and adjust your ignition timing to fix the issue. So if you have a cracked knock sensor, an old knock sensor, one that just is not producing a signal, that could be the cause of the issue as well. So on the over temperature of your combustion chamber, another cause of that could be an EGR issue with your exhaust gas recirculation system. Now the EGR system is a pollution control that redirects your exhaust, some of your exhaust, back into the intake track of the engine to be reburned. That's why they call it exhaust gas recirculation. You're recirculating your burnt exhaust gases back into the top of the engine to be burned again. Now, when that happens, that exhaust gas coming through lowers your combustion temperatures. And if your EGR is not functioning correctly and not activating when it should and lowering your combustion temperatures, you could have overheat in your combustion chamber and cause this issue as well. So another issue could come from carbon, excessive carbon buildup. All of you with newer Subarus with direct fuel injection, we've talked about the carbon issues on the intake valves. Now when this carbon builds up on your intake system because again, it's direct fuel injection, you don't have port injector spraying solvent gasoline on your intake track to keep the carbon from building up. These little carbon pieces can break off and go into your combustion chamber and they can get really, really hot and cause pre-detonation just from the heat of that little piece of carbon getting inside the combustion chamber, sticking inside the cylinder head. Carbon can cause this issue as well. So it'd be good if you have a direct fuel injected Subaru 2018 or newer to have the intake clean, decarbon the engine. That could be part of your issue if you're experiencing pinging pre-detonation, pre-ignition. Another cause of this issue is a lean fuel mixture. If your fuel mixture gets too lean, then you can have the issue as well. When your fuel mixture gets too lean, it burns hotter, more air, less fuel. It's like pushing bellows on a fire. The more air you blow in there, the hotter it gets. It's kind of like the issues we see with turbocharged Subarus blowing up when people lean them out by adding more air and not enough fuel and not tuning the car. You're stoking the flames, adding more and more heat. You can start to melt, crack, and deform your pistons, etc. Then that lean fuel mixture is more inclined to pop off before your spark plug is ready for it to uh, ignite. So in looking at this issue on my Crosstrek and looking at other owners, we need to consult our owner's manual, which a lot of people don't really look at. So looking at the owner's manual for my 2013 Crosstrek, if you flip over to page 7-3, when it talks about uh, your fuel octane rating, we actually see here that Subaru says, do not be concerned if your vehicle sometimes knocks lightly when you drive up a hill or when you accelerate. Contact your Subaru dealer if you use a fuel with the specified octane rating and your vehicle knocks heavily or persistently. So Subaru is telling you right here in the owner's manual that a little bit of light knock on a grade or when accelerating is acceptable. So apparently if your level of knock is acceptable, your vehicle run is normal, no check engine light, etc. But if it's a heavy knock, one, you'll probably be able to hear it very persistently and very loudly and will probably scare you uh, into slowing down or thinking something's wrong with your car. But also likely you will get some kind of check engine light or some kind of code activated for either knock sensor, misfires, etc. The ECM, PCM should be able to pull timing and change your air fuel ratio enough to make sure your engine runs properly on the correct fuel. So maybe my issue isn't actually an issue. Maybe mine is within the normal parameters and for some reason I just happened to notice it the other day whereas it's been doing it and I just didn't notice it beforehand. Or maybe I got a bad batch of gasoline in my car. Like I said, I ran through a new tank of higher octane non-ethanol and I'll report back if it goes away. We won't have a video diagnosing my pinging knocking issue, but uh, if it's persistent from here on, we're gonna dive into my 2013 Crosstrek with 225,000 miles and see what's going on. If we've got carbon buildup, if we've got a lean condition, if we've got an overheat condition, if there's an EGR issue, knock sensor issue, etc. We will try to get to the bottom of it and hopefully help some of you that might be having the same issues with your Subaru as well. 
With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.